John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. A little bit further down it says, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. To make you think, the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So, when it says, later on, in Genesis 1, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So, if we go back again to John 1. And if you remember rightly, it said... In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. So, therefore, where it says the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, they're talking about Jesus. So, if the word was with God and the word was God, the word being Jesus was with God and was God. In the beginning was the Word. So Jesus was there at the beginning. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then it says, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. So, by those two passages, leads me to think, Jesus is God. And was with God. And so was the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And there is one place in the Old Testament where you will find out about the Holy Trinity. But if you think I'm reading it wrong, do please pray on it, seek it in the Bible, and let me know in the comments below. Bye-bye.